I think anytime you get into a, a different environment, you get away, you travel some distance, you get into a new place that, you know, it, it builds excitement every time. Got me a dollar in a dream now. I'm going. Got me a dollar in a dream and I'm gone. Got me a Back home, you know, it's, uh, I mean, every day is different, but you, you got a pretty good idea of what's going to happen each day you go out fishing, and you hope you get surprised. I don't like swimming with musky. <laughs> when you come out on a trip like this, you know, everything's a surprise because there's just so many unknowns. It just makes for something that feels totally different and breaks up what you're used to. Got me a hat out in the woods, I got some food. To me, fishing is, is a lot about mystery. I mean, it's, it's the mystery of what's under the water. It's the unknown, it's the surprise. You come out here, spend five days working through 50 miles of water, new camp set up every single night, and some brutal portages. I mean, this is rugged country out here. All coniferous forests, lots of rock, up and down goat trails, and you gotta carry everything you bring with you. Carry it on your back. It's not something that everybody's willing to do, but it's something I would say everybody should do. sense of accomplishment comes out of it and the best reward is that it puts you in a place where not many people go and it puts you in a mind state that not many people find. It's a place you can get into and not see another person and be pretty confident that nobody's fished here in quite some time, if at all. Catching muskies is awesome. You know, I have a lot of fun catching them. But I like catching them the way that we catch them up here, which is almost exclusively topwater. I mean, this, this trip, that's all I've thrown is, is topwater the whole time. And to be able to see muskie behave like that violently. Within a couple strips, you see that wake and then them hit it and hit it over and over and over again. It just gets your heart going. Come on. Yes. It takes a lot of determination and you know we're sitting out here melting for 12 hours straight on a boat roasting each other all day. What's up, Nicky? <laughs> yep, my crossy. 
You spend hours in a boat with another dude smelling his sweaty armpits and it just really doesn't matter. You know, when, when you get that fish jumping on the top water, everyone starts to shake in the boat and spirits are high. I think of musky fishing as like turning the handle on a jack-in-the-box. I mean, you crank that handle, you crank that handle, you know at some point the jack's coming out of the box. But you don't know when, but you know it's gonna happen. You stick with it long enough. And when it happens, it scares the shit out of you for a minute. And, and I think that's the allure, that's the draw. Look at this, oh, he just ate it again. Fuck, he didn't get hooked. Poison. My cross. He ate the fly three times. We've got approximately 50 miles ahead of us on a river that has white water from class one to four. This means we have to do a lot of portages. I mean, we, it's fun to run rapids, but we, we have a lot of gear we're not going to risk. Trips that I've been on before, where we see white water, we'll do like a portage, you know, we'll go around it, just play it safe. But these guys, you know, class three rapids, let's just shoot it. Let's go right through. These guys, uh, they're, they're pretty crazy. The canoe that, that sank to the bottom of a rapid and had to be retrieved and what we had to work with for the next three days of the trip. Floating down a river head first, banging off the rocks, you know, not knowing what's going to happen. But, uh, you know, in the end, everything worked out. Everyone's alive, no one got injured, and uh, we went on to the next day to put up 13 muskie between, you know, pretty much two people fishing full time, you know. So we definitely bounced back. The cool thing about coming up here and like being off the grid is that even if there's stuff or whatever that you're stressed out about at home or whatever, there is really nothing that you can do about it up here. You're totally disconnected and you can really focus in on the environment and on the task, which is catching muskie and watching your buddies catch muskie. means for me is an opportunity to get off the, the grid and kind of bond with the crew. You know, you get to experience the full range of emotion and out here not encumbered by society. We all have, have crazy lives. Whether you're guiding fishermen five, six, seven days a week, whether working in an office nine to five. Getting off the grid is, uh, it's essential. I mean, it's, it's good for the soul.
strapped in, and that was the only thing connected to the boat the entire time. All of us were swimming, the bags were floating down. A pair of pants and then, that contained uh, a musky tooth. <laughs> you got to take a gamble to, to find places like this. And, and even if you miss, even if it, if it turns out to be a bust, I mean, you're still going to find yourself in a remote place with immense beauty, hanging out with your buddies in the wilderness, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Got me a hat out in the woods, I got some food. Perfect, but it's nothing without you. Okay, yeah. Rip it in there. Rip it in there. Nice fish. Right in, right in, right in. Oh, oh. 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 Got me smell your hair on my shirt Not my chest and you'll warm me forever And I can't list a thousand reasons you should come But I'm going how fast can I run It can be really heartbreaking getting a bad hook set and then you have a fish on and halfway through the fight he totally disappears. Ah! Ah! Where are you going with my guts in your hand? You don't know when your next strike is going to be. It could be hours, it could be the next day, or that might even be the only chance you get. Where are you going with my guts in your hand? Places that are relatively untouched, they're, they're, they're not that hard to find. I mean, you don't need a float plane to get into a place where you can catch fish that have seen very few flies, have seen very few people. Got me a dollar in a dream now. Going. Found yourself a dollar in a dream and you're gone. Every trip I do, there's something that you take away from it. There's something that's burned into your memory that, that haunts you and ultimately uh, keep you coming back. <laughs>